Good morning and welcome to this series of Learning Simplified. In this video, we are going to understand about Swift fin by copy messages. So before we understand what a Y copy is, let's try to understand what is a fin copy. Now in most traditional messages, we see that messages are transmitted from financial institution A to B. It's direct, right? And a common example would be a cross-border MT103 message. In a fin copy message, a copy of the message is sent to a service administrator. Now the way the copy is sent determines whether it is a fin Y or a fin T message. We will see fin Y in more detail because that's got to be more popular because it has been adopted in most of the national RTGS system. So a fin copy is a users that participate in the fin copy closed user group and a service administrator. So in this example, A and B are the users in the closed user group. And then there is a service administrator to whom the copy of the message goes. So as it suggests, fin copy is a message duplication service. We will understand this further. So here we have the sending bank A and then the receiving bank B. So when a message is being sent, it is sent to a central processor. Okay. And then the central processor understands based on the tag in the block three, tag 103, there is the service identifier. Now this service identifier, for example, TGT stands for target two network. The central processor understands that you need to duplicate the message. So what it does, it sends a copy of the message to the service administrator. In this case, the central bank for settlement. Then the central bank, if the settlement is fine, it responds back with an approval. And then the message gets forwarded to the receiving bank. So what happens here is that in the central bank, both A and B, they maintain their funds in their respective accounts. So when message, when the message is being transmitted from the sending bank to the receiving bank, A's account is debited and B's account is credited. So if A doesn't have enough funds in his account, then the confirmation won't be sent, the rejection would be sent. And hence the message would not be forwarded to the receiving bank. So let's take an um, example with actual message formats. So in this case, in a closed user group, participant A wants to send funds to participant B. It could be a customer transfer or it could be a bank transfer. So the first step, an MT103 is sent to the SIFT. Now the SIFT aligns, it sees that the in the block three in the 103 header, there is a service identifier. So the service identifier will depend based on the national RTG system. So in target to the identifier is TGT as we saw in the last slide. So SIFT then sends a copy known as MT096 to the central bank. The central bank checks whether participant A has adequately funded his account. If S, yes, it will respond back with 097 and a copy is now sent here to participant B. So as you can see, this is a Y format. Hence, it is known as a fin Y copy. And if A has not received funds, I will still send out an empty 097, but in the 097, there is a tag which says that the message has been rejected. So what happens here is that in case of a rejection, a 019 about message goes to participant A. So participant A will know that his message has not been forwarded to participant B. We will look at MT097 in the next slide. But here of note is that there is an MT5900 and an MT910. So why 900? Because as I said, participant A and B will maintain their accounts in the service administrator's account. So the moment a debit of account A happens, MT900 is sent to participant A. So A knows that his account in central bank has been debited. Similarly, when B's account is credited, an MT910 confirmation of credit is sent to participant B. 
So a closer look at 097 indicates that this is the all important tag 451. It tells whether the message has been accepted or rejected. And also details about the about reason is also specified in tag 432. Similarly, we know that Swift is transiting to 2022 and we have a Y copy equivalent there as well. So instead of an 103 or a 202, we have a PAX 08 or a PAX 09. A copy of the message is being sent to the RTGS platform. This is the authorization request and there is an authorization response. So the messages are specified here. If it is a success, it will give you a PAX 02. And an abort is also specified by a PAX 02. Of course, there is a field within it to identify whether it is a success or a failure. And obviously, if it is a success, the same PAX 08 or 09 is forwarded to participant B. Similarly, like what we saw as a debited advice to participant A is now a CAMP T054. Similarly, a confirmation of credit is also a CAMP T054 to participant B. So here we see the empty equivalent in the ISO 2002 format. Thank you. Hope this gives you a very clear idea about Swift fin by copy messages. Thank you.